All right, today I am changing over my transmission fluid. Um, so uh, I'm gonna tell you the reason why. I changed it to the short throw shifter and uh, it, it does not shift very well and I noticed that it's been shifting very rough. And then when I opened up my short throw shifter, or when I was installing the short throw shifter, I realized that it was very thick. Uh, it was black and it was definitely need replacement. So I want to show you where the first bolt is. This is the drain bolt. Where are you? Uh, it's right. Let's get my finger. There it is. Okay. So now this is going to be a uh, the head of the bolt is going to be square. I can find it for you. Here it is. Okay, like this. Slightly rounded, obviously strip a little bit. Um, hopefully it doesn't have this much of like rust and gunk on it or else it'll be a bitch to remove. Uh, I recommend using some penetrating oil or fluid. I used WD-40. It uh, was a huge pain in the ass. Not easy thing to get off. So what you do before you even undo and, and empty out your, your transmission fluid, you make sure you can get this bolt off first. Whatever you do, make sure this can be removed before you go ahead with the next steps. Um, you're going to need a crescent wrench for that. You know, the little adjustable wrenches. These guys right here. Not easy, not fun. And then you're going to come, once you get that off, and make sure it comes off before you do this step, you're going to grab a uh, 15 16 wrench or whatever you have and you're going to pop that open um, a quick tip penetrating oil and heat if you have any problems with getting it out um, some people will run their cars before doing this uh, it's probably recommended but in my case it is not a uh, option for me as in my car is currently not drivable due to some coolant so if you are running it before Make sure you are safe when you're undoing this because uh, fluid will burn your hand and you could get burned, um, obviously. But as you can see, this fluid is very dark. Uh, it's not very clear and uh, definitely needed replacement. Uh, and it was not fill to the top as much as it should have been. So I'm going to let that drain overnight because I currently do not have a pump. I have to go to Canadian Tire or one of my stores to get a pump. Um, I'm probably going to go, oh shit. I'm going to go ahead and replace the washer that just fell off. Uh, just to show you how dirty this is. Um, yeah. See all that? It's like grease almost. Actually it looks like it is grease or some type of anti seize but that, uh, that's metal shavings. It's a very thick fluid, uh, should not be this thick, and I'm going to clean it up and put some anti seize on before I put it back in. Um, the car's on an angle right now, or else I would not be fitting under it. So once I uh, put it back straight, it'll drain out proper. Make sure you do it flat. All right, guys, I just want to show you the uh, setup for the shifter here, because you do have to fill fluid in the top here, and it's going to be a pain in the ass because um, you need like a turkey baster or like a syringe to get to it. Anyways, uh, so there's going to be this right here. Ugly ass motherfucker. Um, you will need to replace this. Um, I already bought a replacement and I'm just waiting to get all this figured out before I go ahead and actually install it. Anyways, uh, so just get these off. And I'll get back to you. Alright guys, um, I already moved this and cleaned it up a little bit. Um, I just installed it, so that's why it kind of looks decent. But, um, so once you take, it just pulls out, like, literally just pops right out. Like, there's no force at all. Um, you won't have any of this because I have the short throw shifter in. So you won't have any of these parts here. But, uh, if you can see, this is how my level is right now. It is very, very low. And it, that's very bad, and that's why I was having really, 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 like, tough, uh, um, gears shifting and it's really rough but uh that's the um that's so you get a turkey baster or, or syringe or something that you can get real cheap and you just stick it in there you pull all the fluids out as much as you can 
and then you just fill it to the to like just like throughout here so just like the top of this little hollow hole you'll see what I mean when you open it up uh, you don't want it up to here you want it down a little lower just above that basically and I'll show you obviously when it's when I'm done but yeah all right guys so once you fill up and uh, you'll you'll know when you're full on the uh, on the bottom side of the transmission when you're filling the actual transmission part itself you'll know it's full when you're um, when it starts coming out of the drain or the uh, full uh, the fill hole that makes any sense to you guys so I the pump that I used is this red guy right here uh, it cost me twenty two dollars I'm not too happy about how much that cost me there's cheaper options and but whatever I wanted it done. But um, once you're done that, you're gonna grab the uh, oil, their transmission fluid and you're gonna just pour it into there. Um, and then you're gonna just put all your screws back together as you took them apart and you're basically done. Um, also, so you can see what oil I used. It is right here. It is Ford full synthetic manual transmission fluid. Yes, it's from Ford. You have to go to Ford to get it. Part number is XTM5Q. Yes. All right. This stuff will is supposedly the best fluid for uh, your transmission that you can buy. Um, better than Redline. It's good at all temperatures. And yeah. But other than that, this is what I used. I'm gonna put my car back together. And yeah, we'll be done. Thanks for watching. <laughs>